All right, let's get to meteorologist Natalie Ferrari. You know, each night, you know, viewers are looking to you to see what's the latest on this, especially when a storm goes over land. Yeah, because that really helps to slow it down. And this is what we were expecting. As long as the center went over the mountainous terrain of Hispaniola, that was greatly going to limit any strengthening, if anything, helping to kind of cut into it, bring a little bit of dry air wrapping around into it and allow it to weaken. And that's what happened. It's back down to a tropical depression that actually came in at 8 o'clock tonight, but as of 11, 11 o'clock still packing winds at 35 miles per hour and still moving to the west northwest at about 15 miles per hour. Now, not much has changed with this track. If anything, over Cuba, it still has that little wiggle room where it could potentially have the center just move around north Cuba, north central Cuba, going through the end of the week. But I will say models are trending that it's going to likely stay over that open water. The more that center is right over that water through the end of the week, the more of a chance it is to bump back up to a tropical storm. And that is in the forecast. It is expected to happen as early as tomorrow night, but I really think it's going to be more so into Friday morning. Then going into the weekend as it leaves the Caribbean, starts to make its way through the Florida Straits and potentially now into the eastern Gulf of Mexico. That's where we could start to see even some more strengthening by Saturday night. 50 mile per hour winds are in the forecast, 60 mile per hour winds by Sunday evening as it potentially approaches the Florida panhandle. I say potentially because we got a still a wide spread of that cone of uncertainty that basically tells us where the center of the storm could end up by that time frame and see how those models are still pretty spread out. It could be a little bit more so into the western portions of the Gulf into the central Gulf or it's decently over land here in Florida, but many models still continue to hug along or near the coastline. The strongest tropical storm force winds are going to ride near the center of the storm, just along the northeastern portion of the storm. So the further we get the center out to the Gulf, that's actually the most ideal situation for us. It doesn't make it much of a wind event for us. It will make it more of a rain event and the most likely arrival time of any type of tropical storm force winds would be towards Saturday afternoon and evening. The probability right now is about 11% chance that we'll see that, which is sustained winds of 40 miles per hour or higher. That's not looking too, too likely for us, but one thing that we are really narrowing down is depending just how far off the coast the system is, it may likely just be more of a rain event. Here's what we're still waiting on. It has weakened over Hispaniola, but restrengthening is forecast as we go through the next couple of days. That will help to bring us some rain storms here going into the weekend, mainly Saturday night, Sunday morning. That could also allow for tornado watches to be issued. Whenever you have that much tropical moisture, we cannot rule out some spin ups. We cannot rule out those tornadoes. So we are going to be here every single update, bringing you the latest from the National Hurricane Center. And it's still the heart of hurricane season. We have one more system right behind it. Invest 95L that has 60% chance of potentially being our next depression early next week. We'll worry about that one when it comes to it. Right now, we're going to keep focusing on Fred going forward. The radar has quiet down here tonight. That's some good news because, guys, we made it to 95 degrees. We almost tied a record high of 96. It was a hot and steamy one. And thankfully, we will look at a quiet evening at these, as these temperatures have already fallen into the lower to upper 70s, climbing near 80 even through the overnight hours, staying hot and steamy with those daily showers and storms just in time for your evening commute going through the rest of the week.